What up, y'all? So as most of y'all should know, Kodak Black actually pleaded guilty to sexual assault charges, right? Now, I'm going to read an article that explained the reason why he actually pleaded guilty, you know, because some persons are wondering if, you know, if he got a deal and that's the reason why he pleaded guilty or if he's actually guilty of doing such an act, right? So let's get to this article so you guys can get a better understanding of what's going on. So the article says... Kodak Black explains why he pleaded guilty to sexual assault charge. Kodak Black was sentenced to 18 months probation after pleaded guilty to charges stemming from a sexual battery incident five years ago. Kodak Black, whose real name is Bill K. Capri, pleaded guilty to sexual assault in a high school student in February 2016 when he appeared in a South Carolina court today. According to the victim's account on the incident, Kodak forced himself on her after a performance in the city of Florence. She recounted that the incident happened at the Comfort Inn and Suites Hotel, the young lady alleged that Kodak bit her on the neck and right breast and forced her to perform various sexual acts despite her repeatedly telling him no. She later revealed her injuries to a nurse at the Richmond County High School and the incident was reported to the authorities resulting in the rapper being indicted for first degree criminal sexual conduct in November 2016 with a bond of 100k. Kodak Black was looking at a possible sentence of up to 30 years if he did not take the plea deal offer under the deal his actual sentence of 10 years would be suspended for 18 months of probation and mandatory counseling needless to say the plea deal was welcomed by Kodak Black and his team as the rapper was only recently released from prison thanks to outgoing President Donald Trump he had his three-year sentence for gun charges pardoned and was released from jail in January today Kodak took a plea to the legal charge of assault and non-sexual offense and received 18 months probation a statement from Kodak's legal team reads, This was a charge of charge from the original charge, having consistently denied these five-year-old allegations. He entered this plea deal in order to resolve this matter. Reactions to the rapper conviction has been varied. Some social media users have expressed shock at the duration of the sentence, while others seem to believe he only pleaded guilty to avoid a lengthy trial. Kodak Black is also reaching on Twitter where he made it clear that both himself and the victim wanted to put the case behind them. He also pointed out that he doesn't need to register as a sex offender and did not have to pay off the victim to close the case. I ain't got to register as a sex offender or none of that ish. That's a play if you ask me, lol. Y'all got me effed up. I ain't that freaky homie, he wrote, adding, five years later, both of us just wanted to get this stuff over with and I ain't have to come off no money. So basically, Koda just wanted to get this case over with because... I mean, it's too long, guys. Five years for one case, that's all. That's like something hanging over your head that you want to get resolved. And I'm glad that Kodak ain't going back to jail, ain't going back to prison because he just got out like January. So that would definitely not be a good look. And Kodak, I'm begging you, just stay focused. Don't do no dumb stuff, even though it is somewhat way alleged in a way, even though he pleaded guilty. So I guess... I, I'm not even sure if I should use the word allege if you actually pleaded guilty because when you plead guilty, you're actually acknowledging that you did something, right? Um, but I'm not going to say that everyone who plead guilty is actually guilty of committing an act, if you get what I'm saying. I mean, sometimes innocent persons do go to prison, if you get what I'm saying. But let me know what y'all think about this. Kodak, just keep your head up, homie. You know, you're definitely a good rapper. Just stay focused. Make that money. Don't do no dumb stuff. You know, some persons might be wishing for you to go back to prison. So just prove the haters wrong and just do what you got to do. Make that moolah and just take care of your family. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, Kodak, definitely a good look to see you still out here. You know, you have a loyal fan base regardless, you know. But anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know if you think that Kodak actually just took the plea deal to get the case over with. Or do you think that he's actually guilty of committing such an act? Leave it in the comment section. And also, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace. What happened? I'm number one on the billboard. What happened? 310 Agent, what up? Kalisha, what up? I double back, put the bag on his head. That nigga paint the whole city red. Stop fucking playing, man.
We number one on the billboard, man. The music video finna drop, man. Damn. I want to drop it right now. I do it back, put it back on the head. You don't need paint the whole city red. That's all DMG, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. Stop playing. Y'all know what's going on. I double back, put the bag on the head. Y'all need to paint the whole city red. Follow at Soldier Boy Game. At Soldier Boy Game. Number one on the billboard, billboard. Y'all got hold on. Follow at Soldier Boy Game, man. We number one on a fucking billboard, man. Hey, so we can't play no more music on Instagram? They gonna cut off all the shit or what? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to play some music. What the fuck? Yeah, man, stop playing, man. We number one on the billboard, man. Young Draco, man. Everybody go follow at Soldier Boy Gang right now. I'm about to do a giveaway. We number one on the billboard. She make a clap music video on the way. Shout out to everybody that came through. Shout out to everybody that did the challenge. I ain't gonna cap, gang. I don't think he can play no no music, cause I played some other shit and they was tripping off that shit too.